with the flame here. Because it's quite dangerous to use once I'm next to my opponent already. So if I walk three meters forward, can I then pop one of them? I can, very good. Is it only three enemies? I guess the... I guess this fight was intended to be approached from another side, and then I'd have to face the orc slayers as well, but if I don't go up there, the slayers will not even trigger yet. Oh. But then if I don't go up there, she's not going down. Oh, look at this! What is this? Three shadows! Come on. Come on. Well, how would you like some more fire AoE? I forgot to learn my... Uh, my lightning, my chain lightning again. Oh well, I'll just teleport her down if she doesn't want to come down. I will just teleport her down. It was there, but another angle of view. Interesting. I guess it was a long time ago. How... when did this game release? Was it actually two months ago? Did it actually take me two whole months... ...to beat this game? Because that's crazy. That is such a long time. All right. You're getting over here so that my melee dudes can open up on you. I think Madora can totally kill her now. And this guy shouldn't survive this either. Alright, that was easy enough. Oh, let's try the... Oh, I can't do the death punch. It costs a lot of AP. Never mind, Madora. Oh shit, she unfroze. Let's try to knock her down. Oh, okay, I guess I'm gonna have to risk a normal hit. Come on. It's a 50%, come on. Come on. come on, you need to hit twice now. Oh, I guess once works. 19k. Yeah, these guys really drop some XP. No! Why? I didn't kill... I All I wanted was some progress. Herbivores, I'm not sure. It depends on the laptop. It can run on a solid, expensive gaming laptop. On a typical workplace laptop, it's not gonna work very well. The game is not the best optimized. It does take a lot of resources. On a gaming laptop, you could. You know what? I already beat this fight. I already beat it. Why? I ask you. Why? Would I waste time beating it again? On anything other than just the quickest difficulty. That just makes things faster for myself, you know? It seems reasonable in this case. enemies have laid a trap. I've already crushed it perfectly. I may as well just go ahead and speed things up. I 
I think uh, the latest patch did improve the performance of the game somewhat. You could be okay. I mean, uh, before before the performance patch came in, I would tell you absolutely not, because it wasn't even running properly on my streaming rig when I was streaming with Core i7 and uh, GTX 770. But now it's running okay on my PC, so I'm not sure. Maybe now it's better than it was, better than it used to be. And you could run it on your laptop. In the end, my best advice, if you're not sure wh whether it'll run or not, my best advice I can give you is to pirate the game and then buy it when it does work. Because in, in this day and age, making a game demo is generally quite expensive and many companies just don't go for it. So, the, so questions arise. And if you are, if you're very fair about buying the game if it works, I see nothing wrong with pirating it first as a demo. Now these guys will probably want to fight me now anyway. And besides, I did want to explore this area, so yeah, these guys will get their asses kicked. They'll just get their asses kicked separately from the main boss. Oh, and I'll finally learn... Click. Click. Home. The Chain of Lightning. So what do I need to forget in order to learn the Chain of Lightning? Mm, the Shocking Touch is just totally useless, because I already have uh, the Razor's Edge skill of the Rogue. Click. Oh. Let's take that one for a spin. How much AP does it... Oh, plus 4 due to low Aerothurge. So let's use it off combat, because it costs so many action points. One of them stunned already. That I do appreciate. Yeah, these guys are so going down. Let's bring him closer to Medora so she can pop his face open. Even if I approach this fight from another angle, these guys would would not save the orc leader from dying horribly. It just ain't cutting it. They're nowhere as good as the goblin group, I would say. I guess Medora's gonna spin anyway instead of attacking directly, so that stun didn't really help. But it eh, doesn't matter. Nothing really matters when I have that much damage. Bam! At this rate, I will be 20 in no time. Void demons, though. Void demons are pretty damn tough. Those you do not mess with. Okay, there's a trapped area. And th th there's this bug that uh, shows me the traps as long as there is fog of war and I'm far away from it. When I get closer to the traps, uh, they will actually become invisible. I wonder why haven't they fixed it yet. So the orc slayers and a bunch of goblins. I could totally just... Crush. That circle jerk over here. And then maybe this is the area of the of the trial? No, this is this is an unenterable area. I don't know. Well, let's kill the demon. I don't see why I wouldn't kill the demon. I don't really know where to go for the trial, so I'll just walk around and kill shit until I find the trial of Ascension. Come on. Oh. Oh. 
I'm really hoping to not meet a group of these demons because they can be pretty tough. But I guess a little challenge wouldn't hurt after all that ownage I've been doing recently. Yeah, look at this guy. So many different spells. I'm really glad they are using bleeding spells though, because I have blood leech on every character and it's super good. Well, that was not useful. The only person I poisoned was myself. And they are really, really immune to all kinds of, of uh, crowd control. If I try to stun him, even though here it says 135%, it would be kind of 25%. It's really hard to crowd control the guy. powerful hits or no, I could do the bloodletting and then a powerful hit bloodletting is guaranteed to, to connect all right not enough to kill him before he moves but he's not gonna do anything scary by himself I'm not even gonna bother with him it's much more convenient to kill with Balsam and Medora and the Decapitator because they have few hits with large damage. I don't want to click 10 times with Joyful. If I can kill him anyway, I might as well kill him conveniently. Um. Lich Talent is really good. Um. Oh, it's Leech with L-E-E-C-H. But I, I noticed in the early game, it really didn't do that much of a difference. I was very unimpressed when I first had it in the early game, to be honest. There's an Orcish garrison. But I don't think the Trial of Ascension is anywhere near that place. Let's see what's in front of here. I can see a chest. That all that's always a good sign. Um. Careful. I spotted a trap. This area is packed with fights, my goodness. Um. Um. Stupid animation made me misclick. That just happens all game long. They really need to extend them. The, uh, they really need to extend the hitboxes of the characters. Oh, Sun actually died. Damn it. I guess Madora could resurrect Sun now, so that Sun can also get the experience for this guy. Except Madora doesn't have resurrection scrolls, which is silly. 
I mean, you don't really need to be a mage to use the scroll. I guess Joyful will resurrect her. Balsam is probably not gonna have 10 AP. Yeah, it's 9. And Joyful is exactly 10. Ah, silly son. Why did you walk into a trap? Here, come back. Oh, what am I shooting? I guess the air. Is the range really that lame? Oh well. Oh, oh, okay. I guess I did need to hit with that. Or he's gonna move again. Come on! There you go. Hammer in the face. Never gets old. Save it before the game closes. And please, no more walking into traps. Balsam in the front. That's crap. So... This is not the Trial of Ascension. Maybe on the other side of the temple. But it's not even part of the temple anymore. Maybe it's right here, I just need to click on the right thing. And it's right there on my journal somewhere, I don't know. We've made it to the Source Temple, except we didn't. We've made it inside the Source Temple, except we didn't. Fort of Souls. The Titan in Dark Forest told us the Cassandra's body and burn it. This will make her vulnerable. Oh, vulnerable. I thought it was, it was gonna kill her. Ah. Okay, so let's burn her body. And then talk to her. That sounds like progress. Um. And then maybe Cassandra, uh, being vulnerable, will get scared and... Uh, will tell me how to fix the Soul Forge upon the threat of death. So where was the secret door to the secret thing? Not here. Oh, this was the secret thing. And the secret door is already open. Oh, Cassandra, you will not be happy, my dear. Because I'm going to burn your bones, just like in Supernatural. I think this is... I don't know, and she told me to kill Aru. I'd much rather just threaten her than kill Aru for her. But it's possible that if I kill her now, then... Uh, she'll never tell me how to fix the Soul Forge. We'll see. I'll take that chance. Wouldn't be my first mistake ever. Burn it to the ground! Whoa, it survived the fireball. Not bad, skeleton. Great series, Supernatural, I totally agree. Watched every single episode. Oh, oh well. Worst case scenario, I just kill the conduit instead of fixing the soul forge. It seems like a good idea anyway. To kill the conduit and kill Cassandra. I'm supposed to kill the bad guys. It's it's what I do. It's what I do. If there's a bad guy and I don't like him, I kill him. That's that's what I do in life. Now what is there? I wonder. There are many places I haven't yet explored in this forest.
probably places with hidden loot, maybe side quests. Hell, maybe Maradino himself. Oh, there is Maradino's treasure somewhere. Oh, shit. The Circle Jack has noticed me. Man, the freaking barrels, come on. Come on. There you go. That's more like it. Oh, the demon as well, all right. Hey, demon, stop cheating. It's my turn to move. Uh, now this fight is getting interesting. Have some fun with this one. Bam! Oh, the demon too. Wow, it actually killed one of them already. Nice. Nice boom. Love it. He's running away. The tenth season. It's gonna be the last one, isn't it? That's gonna be quite something. I think the brothers will fight each other pretty badly in there. Mm, yeah, I can't get close enough. I guess I'm just going to drop a poison projectile to get him exploding again. Yeah. Even more massive damage. And Medora would like to wait until maybe the demon will come closer. Oh, he did the same fire spell I did. And it hurts. Confirmed. Confirmed, all right. Oh. Fine. I really need Sun and her healing. I guess I'm gonna be fine. Only the Orc Slayers are faster than Sun. And the Orc Slayers are running away because they have... Uh, their fat models, I assume, cannot go through the smoke. Or maybe they... Oh, it's because this way is burning. They want to run towards me around through a pathway that isn't burning. That's their pathfinding. I'm not gonna argue. I'm gonna be okay with that. Oh. I do want to focus on the demon right now. Inventory. Click. Oh. Escape. I just barely. It's too small of a fireball. Oh well. Still worth it. Wait, what? No damage? Oh, I guess I don't see the damage numbers. Because they are behind smoke. Invisible. Oh shit, they actually did make it too joyful and hurt him. No, don't do it! Ooh, damn! Sun was too slow. What the hell did he do to me? Jeez, Sun almost burned to death. Now that I look at it, it looks pretty grim. So I can bring Joyful back, but I can't heal him anymore. And uh, it's not his turn, so that could be a little sketchy. They're both down, so they're not gonna hurt Joyful. Oh. It's the demon I need to worry about. Of course I'm not gonna knock him down. Actually, it was a 45% chance. I'm getting better in this shit. Oh. Oh. No, the demon! Oh! That's why you take the leech ability. The demon just healed him to full through massive bleeding. Love it! <laughs> what up, demon? Oh. Not what you expected, huh? Oh. Oh. 
Now I would like to finish off at least one of these orcs. Or if I can't, because it seems like I can't, maybe teleport him uh, back. No, it's invisible, damn it. Oh well, it's still the best damage I can deal. And then he'll have to run through even more fire if he wants to get to me. Oh shit, actually if I teleported him closer, I'd be able to stab him to death. I didn't realize how much damage would that be exactly. Ah, he just po potions himself. And then it's, he's not gonna suicide on fire, right? Right? Uh, I guess he will. Alright. <laughs> I'll take that. I will totally take that one. And then another rock should probably kill them. Not quite. It didn't explode, curiously enough, did it? How many times will he hit me with this haste? Okay, that's a miss, that's very good. Oh, only two times. Yeah, the fight belongs to me now, alright. Pretty much mine. Number six. Home. All the bleeding heal. All of it. BAM! Daggers drawn! Wait, this guy is just... What is he doing? I hope the battle will just end or something. Actually, no, he's fast enough to get to me still in about two turns. It's pretty damn fast. Oh, there's still one Gobbo alive and burning. Let's make sure there isn't. Okay, yeah. The fight just ends. I'm okay with that. I'm gonna take that. Uh, the question remains. Where do I start the Trial of Ascension? And how is this guy here now? He teleported back when the fight ended? Oh well, you're gonna be in some trouble, buddy. Guess I need the tornado first. And then I should be able to see him now. Yeah. He's really fast. His initiative is higher than Sun and Madora. Usually that never happens. Ah, okay. Madora can take it. I guess it was unnecessary. I thought I could do the lightning as well. What is this spell? I like it. I wonder what is that fire spell. It doesn't really say. Used immolation. Immolation. Never seen it. I'll keep my eye open. For that spell in a vendor. Down you go, son. Down you go. Oh. I will happily take your 7k XP. So I guess I'm just forced to explore everything. 
because I don't know where to go for the Trial of Ascension. These two are sleeping. Sleeping it off. Ah, oh, come on! I was too loud. I just wanted to walk past them. Face. It didn't hit the other one, and it didn't explode. Sometimes it's weird mechanics. Sometimes it's really weird mechanics when it comes to the things falling from the sky. Oh, now it exploded. Yeah, kill him! Kill him! He is your enemy! Because I told you so! I can do the chain one. That usually doesn't happen. Alright, with that... I can do the cone. Oh. Oh. And they're almost down already! Cleaning it up. Getting closer to 20. Oh, even more gobos. Two rangers, a warrior. There is... There could be something interesting in this altar thingy. Maybe this is where a trial of ascension could happen? Um, let us investigate. As soon as my infectious flame is ready. Oh. I'm right here, goblin! I'm right here. Don't you worry. Oh. No! Damn it! Clicked too fast. I'm getting cocky here. Maybe for good reasons, but still. It doesn't help. Like, this was a total misclick. I didn't want to go here. It's crazy. Wait, what? I have no control over myself. What the fuck is happening? Click off. What is happening? Okay, thank you, bug. Wow. It's maybe do something with my voice commands? Interesting. Oh yeah, you come too. Everyone's welcome at the party. Everyone's welcome. Make the AOE spells more effective. Oh. That's a helping hand, though. That was a helping hand ability that picks someone up when he's down. It's quite funny that uh, a helping hand can have so many particle effects. You, you just give someone a hand. There doesn't need to be light from the sky all around you. Still, I'm not gonna complain, it looks pretty. Now, can I shoot the fireball past him? I think this will hit three and not me. 
Yeah. Noximus, I do have to agree that double mage is pretty much necessary in this game. I don't think it's broken, I think it's how it's supposed to be played. You just need the double mage to, to be really, really effective. And that's just because the game is so elemental driven. It's just really good. But I'm not sure if it's broken or it's intended to be a really good combo. Probably intended. Besides, if you look how many different types of mages there are, you would think you would find out that. 50% of uh, this game's classes are actually mages. So it's not like mage, rogue, warrior, uh, archer, where mage is 25% uh, of all the classes. There are so many types of mages, it's kind of like 50% of all the classes are mages. So when you look at that fact, then you, you could say that it was intended from the get-go it was intended by the developers that you should play two mages and then two other types of characters. I mean, it doesn't need to be a pure mage anyway. I have one pure mage, which is Sun, and then I have Joyful, which is a rogue mage, and it works just as good. Oh shit, I don't have teleport anymore. I have to go to him. Fine. Fine. I'll come to you, you lazy bastard just laying on the floor. I have to do all the killing work around here. Probably gonna fall on the floor. No, nice. All right. Oh. Lucky me, I guess. Oh. Yeah, the single target damage usually does belong to the warriors. The, the way Madora is just slashing through people, it's oh. Sun could never replicate it. But the AOE, I think, belongs to the fire mage mostly. 